Hey Garth Gang and welcome back to Path of Exile video. This is my first 3.18 YouTube video and I'm going to go through all of my heist guides. Um, I've just come off of the live announce plus Q&A and had a flick through the patch notes that have just been released. There are no changes to heist, no changes to uh, any of the builds as uh, Chris Wilson mentioned. So the only thing that really changes that I can see is the having the sentinels about which don't appear to work in heist but obviously I could be wrong that wasn't specifically stated or nor raised so that's probably something that they'll uh, Q&A over the coming week but um, yeah so we'll go ahead and go through the builds nothing's changed so um, I'm just going to bring over the, the POV onto the main screen there we go so we'll start off by going through the low level endless heist this is my level 59 to 60 um, the idea is you're running um, uh, let me get it straight brute force lock picking agility and oh, what's the other one? deception contracts um, and, and with a primary goal of fulfilling the chaos recipe using the chaos recipe tool uh, to provide mass amounts of chaos low level uniques and other basic generic currency um, and, and making an absolute mint on that day you know to, to, to either bolster yourself or to then sell via trade it works in SSF it works in trade it might work in hardcore I haven't tested it because I'm not a hardcore player um, but we do end up on quite a lot of life um, uh, with defenses so that's if you're a hardcore player that um, I turned all those notifications off let's clear them off again Ugh. anyway let's get back to this so I've been running the testing and this actually works better with purity of elements the reason being is because we're not using or having to rely on our flasks to cover all the various effects we could get hit with in heist such as ignite um, chill from the tunnels uh, tile set etc and it gives us a bit more free freedom excuse me on our flasks so the, with this in mind we can then we can uh, get more evasion we can get more armor um, movement speed and on our quicksilver obviously but if that runs out you can have it on your stib knight or alternatively you can have something else on your stib knight depending on how you want to run it you're still going to have to run anti-bleed because we've got no way of being um, bleed immune but uh, this this works out this is a standard set of gear I've used on this character in all of my videos it still works but uh, tree wise we pluck out the grace reservation node here and we gain the 10% increased life but 10% reduced life recovery rate. We don't have that much life recovery rate anyway because we're such low level and with a decently rolled uh, life flask we get 90% of our life back anyway. I mean if you look on this, this is not well rolled gear but certainly decent gear um, and we're on 2.1k life and this is going to give us about 1.8 back so you could be pretty much dying hit one flask charge and your full health so you know it, it works better it's more it's better defensively because also we are then not having to worry about too much about our resist gear because we're stacking all these uniques and then potentially you could take all of the resists off the gloves and the stygian vice um, potentially changing these out for other items just make sure your chaos resist is uh, in the positive side and, and just be about your business really um, it's a lot better feel free to make your own decision though and uh, the only like I said the only, the only thing that's changed from my standard build is we're changing out grace for purity of elements so if you want to run with the grace to get that extra movement speed then throw in the grace uh, change the tree you drop the te this node here and pop in the uh, grace mana reservation node or alternatively you could drop um, this mastery here the 50 life and grab the reservation node um, 
or you could then up going for a two passive uh, small cluster but then you have minor issues there's options to do if you're good enough at uh, changing the tree around I'm sure you'll find a way so that's that one let me just uh, grab a drink I've also noticed in my copious amount of training that that's better sorry um, copious amounts of not training that's the wrong word leveling um, practice leveling this build can be league started but you run the risk of running out of chance orbs and scours um, you would have to market buy and I'm not sure how that would go on day one or you are just gonna have to be extremely lucky and run those contracts I mentioned and, and self-sustain your chance and scours um, it also depends on how quickly you can level up the characters because obviously we're going to act 10 but then we've got to level down run the contracts for this build strat to be effective it can be done and you can make a ton of money um, as I mentioned in previously in videos I did this particular build but with grace without purity of elements as my league start and I made a 2x by the end of day 2 which for a lot of people isn't a lot of money but that's just raw x that was 2x plus a bunch of chaos plus all the other base currency I didn't have to buy any base currency for my next character at all I didn't have to buy I had a few hundred jewelers few hundred fusings chromatic orbs coming at my ah oh, I had so much base currency I could sell the base currency to make even more car, um, chaos and X because by that point you're not rolling your gear you're just buying the flasks already rolled um, and unless you need several cluster jewels that have got specific stats on you can buy the base and roll those with the fossils you found so raw currency rise I must have made two and a half X just in X and chaos and then all the other base level currency plus div cards plus fossils so it does work and it can work you just have to be um, you know not too fast out too slow sorry out of the door and league start but then you are kind of stuck the purpose of this character the whole purpose behind it is to get 59 to 60 and stay there well, well sorry go up to Katava Act 10 but not kill him level down run the strat and then you're staying at 59 to 60 which means your gear progression is going to be hampered um, and, and this is where this character stops after this point you need to re-roll um, unless you're going to spend a few hundred orbs of regret and buy gems to completely retrain this character it would be far easier to to either use the leveling uniques you found running this strat or to buy leveling uniques and then re-roll into a, your uh, main character and, and go from there um, so it is a kind of a singular build built for one thing and it, it can't really do much outside of that so that's that one now the other build uh, I've been uh, championing is what I call the high level heister or the BP runner and I'm just gonna switch over the POBs now and we'll bring that in so this is this one um, we'll get the low level one up there out of the way and here we go so this is my idea of a blue point runner which um, can go all the way up you've got it does um, these are the trees here you can see we uh, go through there is a potential to run the endless heist strat on this character and I honestly if you are even remotely thinking about running any sort of end game um, heist strategy including blueprints or uh, just contract running of some description this is the build to go it has far more options and and as proven in another video 
it can do 3.17 red maps it's a little bit slow and you can have a little bit of a trouble with some of them but it can do them um, so potentially you could league start with this then do the 59 to 60 strat to make a couple of X and then move on um, getting your large clusters from either hopefully you may have found it or from trade um, and then I go into options you can have um, once you're up like level 95 with the ascendancy jewels without the ascendancy jewels and then all the way up to 100 with, with and without the, the ascendancy jewels depending on your budget um, so this I would say is the better generic build and it'll give you a lot more options it can quite easily go through white maps even um, Alcon, uh, well at least magic white maps it can go through yellow maps but you'd have to target roll them rather than Alcon go and it can do targeted rolled red maps uh, Alcon go maps I wouldn't suggest because you're going to have to be very careful about the mods and it'll, it'll just take longer but it can do them so I would heavily suggest if you're going to run uh, a build for heist and you want an easy time of it this is the one to go for you've got many different options you can keep the budget low you can invest hundreds of X and you'll have a good time um, so that's what I, I would suggest um, and then we go up to where my character is at the moment which is around um, going on to level 94 this is in standard and that's the character on the screen now um, and this is where this is at so we end up with about 4k life which isn't bad um, we are fully suppressed we've got uh, 80 according to obviously POB numbers 86% fizz damage reduction 77k evasion um, and we have a 358% movement modifier uh, we are resist capped our chaos resist is low but that is based on this gear which isn't that great um, and honestly I would be making changes to this gear to get more chaos res we are stat starved um, on strength and intelligence um, but we accomplish that by getting um, stats on our boots strength and intelligence on our boots high intelligence roll on one of our rings high strength on the other ring and then a strength and intelligence roll with attribute modifiers on our rare belt there are other options of getting over this you could get stats on the jewels uh, the cluster jewels here are just got the passives on so it'd be quite easy to get them with stats on to help out um, I'm going to need another drink You could get stats on the bow, although I wouldn't suggest it, um, or on the quiver. Um, and alternatively as well, you could invest a couple of points and just pick up um, a Wisdom of the Glade and Beef here, down there, which are the 30 nodes, or up here. Um, obviously, you'd be lack lacking nodes on the tree then, but it might be an easier option. There's many options you could drop this node this five life node and this six life node here to put the twos in it's your choice it's you know it, the build is yours to play with I've just given you an idea and how I would do it there's all your skills um, and suggested items obviously but uh, yeah I would heavily suggest this build um, if you're going to league start and and um, do heist because like I said it's got many more options you don't have to re-roll you could stay with this build I know some people that are just gonna heist for the entire league and had no intentions prior to the live announcement of ever hitting maps with their heist character that there's that um, personally for the first time since heist has been released I'm not league starting with a heist builder I'm going to go inquisitor um, Righteous Fire um, and I've been working on the build that Balen Mage did for me which I covered on I'm just going to bring that up now if I can find it is that the right one I've been playing with yes this um, what I'm going to bring on screen now is an amalgamation of builds and I'm only going to quickly cover this because this video is more to do with heist than anything else 
so uh, this is the RF build I'm going to be playing with um, it ends up looking something like that as a tree um, there's the skill list this is the Pox's skill list um, and that's how he's done the list and I've not really changed it much um, this is the approximation of the end game items with no headhunter that I've put in so yeah we end up um, none of these stats are correct because I've just none of the gear is real it's just um, you know like this amethyst ring it's a base with what rolls I need on it so I can quickly go into trade chat and give it it's projected with 2.3 mil DPS so I'm looking forward to playing that in the description I'll leave the heist document which I'm going to go through and make sure it's all up to date with these correct builds. Of course you then also have the end game um, heist runner. If I can just bring this up. This build is very niche. It is purpose built to run into blue points and contracts with the sole purpose of running in hitting the end reward and coming out again so in the decept it, and it'll be deception contracts that you'll be running so you run all the way to the end grab the highest target set the alarm off and run out not killing mobs you're not picking up any of the other chests you're just running in grabbing the end game thing to get your highest markers get your reveals from running out and the same th process with blueprints you're running in you're going all the way to the end you're picking up your reward and running out again possibly revealing the closest nearby secondary exit rather than running all the way through speed it's all about absolute speed to get these blueprints and these contracts done as quickly as possible preferably without dying so that in, with that in mind the entire thing is built around speed so we end up with 116k evasion uh, and not an okay amount of armor uh, full res capped, no damage, it's a ZDPS character, um, but we do end up with 400% with movement speed. We do this by having a Marrakesh bow with 10% increased movement speed, um, implicit, a primal arrow quiver with again an increased movement speed, uh, Devoto's Devotion, more movement speed queen of the forest the stacking evasion to generate even more movement speed um, that's just life and resist gloves uh, 70 step boots with 50 percent movement speed and the enchant for more movement speed um, <laughs> you can see where this is going and then basically it's uh, belt and rings for stats and attributes and then a string of servitude with a uh, max rolled triple implicit um, movement speed modifier with a quicksilver um, uh, experimenters movement speed flask um, and then all the other what sits we've got a pure talent here um, and then there's a ranger, ranger you've got 7% increased movement speed and then a tempered spirit for more movement speed um, skill wise we've got eye shot totems to slow enemies down uh, that's the whole point it's all to do with slowing a cast some damage taken molten shell with increased duration and life tap um, these are your uh, auras and then frost wall which works to again slow down enemies and in your movement boots we've got the phase run increased duration and frost blink in case you're uh, getting to, to you need to cross um, an area or something this build here these actual this this whole skill here can be anything you like um, to do to do damage or to slow people down throwing a totem or a ballista or, or whatever it doesn't matter um, I haven't actually tested this at all the it's a paper build um, it looks good on paper it is based off of a character that was showcased POB showcased in the heist channel of TFT I think it'll be good um, I may mean to make a ton of currency this league so if I do I will put this build together and do a video 
um, but that is solely based on how much currency I can make to put this build together. Uh, so that's all the highest builds I've got on paper. Of obviously there are many more builds out there. There is a uh, Mage Blood heist variant um, that is around as well. Where did it go? Here it is. This is the Mage Blood variant. Um, it's similar to one I've done. Um, in fact, it's it's pretty damn the same. Obviously, the only difference is you have the mage blood, and then your um, flasks are set up to cover your resists, um, which means then you don't need resists on any of your gear. So you can then just run uh, absolute DPS monstrosities, influence, double influenced, and all that kind of stuff with uh, going into uniques to to get. You know even more power obviously this comes with the forbidden jewels and a decent watcher's eye uh, for more movement speed uh, it's quite nice it's got 414 movement speed not it's not spell suppressed um, but because it doesn't go up to mage bane but that you, you could do that this is a level 100 tree um, with 4k life so there's move and maneuver depending on your personal likes so that's the builds, other builds you can use, you can do Righteous Fire, my level 94 Righteous Fire in Arch Nemesis can do level 83 contracts, not very fast, um, because we are have no movement speed on the tree, and we've got 30% movement speed from the Legacy of Fury Boots with our Quicksilver, but it does kill everything, so there is that. Um, you have the other Autobomber builds, such as Herald of Thunder, um, you've got totem builds, pretty much anything with totems will be able to do it as long as you've got a decent movement speed. Death Occultist Death Oath works very well. I've got a level 93, 4, 5 Death Oath character and I I run, I was running level 83 um, contracts on that so that works as well. Excuse me, drink. So yeah, that's... Uh, all the builds I can personally think of, um, POBs are, are around if you want to look up. Got any questions, queries, anything at all to do with heist, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, there are plenty of heist uh, guides, videos on my channel going through various different strategies and how to do heist. Please remember in this 3.18 upcoming, once Neversync has done his filters, you will need to go in and change the heist gear because he still only shows rare gear and rare gear doesn't really drop until I level 75 plus heist contracts and to get yourself started you're going to want to be dropping the white um, white gear just to help out you'll be surprised how much those unrolled gear work gear works quite well um, I've got some in there. I've got all of some in there. Yeah, see, these are all my high level ones I've rolled waiting for the end of Arch Nemesis. Um, you'll be surprised on League Start how much it, it uh, affects your characters. And obviously, if you're uh, doing a endless high strat where you're staying at 59 to 60, you're never going to get into the high level contracts anyway. So, you're going to need that gear. I am going to try and redo my heist specific filters to make it easier uh, where lots of things are taken out because they just won't drop in heist or it's irrelevant for that level um, of heisting um, but that all depends on how quickly Neversync can get his filters done and then I need to adjust them to fit heist and get them updated I'm also going to be wanting to do league start and I'm going pretty big on league start this league um, so there's lots of factors involved on in whether I can do that or not I will try and do it if not I will get them done a few days into the league but once they're done and set up it should be quite simple for me to keep them updated for future leagues so there is that um, this is my blueprint runner by the way on the screen now just having a run Whee! so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I will leave this um, the 
document with all the shortcuts to all the POBs in the bottom. I will do the POB for the level 5960 with grace and the level 59 to 60 with purity of elements. And then obviously you can choose which one you want. We'll have the high level heister in there, the mage blood character in there, um, and the blue pin runner. It's not as you know, it's, th there's options. I will put a POB for my Death Oath character in there in case anyone's interested because it can run Heist and that can do Alk and Go content all the way through as of 3.17. Um, I've not tested it on bosses as per previous. I have medical conditions which prevent me from doing the bosses. Um, so that's up to you. You're probably better off either trying it yourself or buying carries. And if you're heisting, you'll have the money to buy carries that's it i'm going to bed i'm tired i'll get this video uploaded um, and released as soon as possible hope you enjoyed this video hope you enjoyed the live announcement look forward to seeing you around about uh, 3.18 follow me on twitter gar412 i currently do not stream on twitch although i have a twitch channel free feel free to follow i'm hoping to get some therapy so I can start streaming um, a little bit and we'll go from there. See you in the next one.